That's totally not our intro. Or mine. Give me one more shot. One more shot. Hello, zombies! No. Why was I Dracula? Fine, fine. I'll just get on with it. Can you tell whose video we are going to create today? Can you? It's my favorite person in the whole world. The person who got me into special effects makeup. It's the lovely, the one of a kind, Mikey. I, I say it like she's going to be here or even watch this. But hey. I thought we would recreate one of her looks. It's actually her Twitter profile. That's why I'm wearing the red hair. And also, whenever Mikey does a video, she's always in makeup and a wig. And you know what she does, right? Alexa, play Careless Whisper. I just yelled that. <laughs> Alexa, play Careless Whisper. I don't have an Alexa, so it's not going to go off. And then, so... Well, Alexa's playing your careless whisper. Let's take off this wig. Ow, 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 ow. It's stuck in my fear. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Tori coming back at you with another video. It's not Mikey, but I thought that would be like a little fun intro, kind of, hopefully. Anyways. Yeah, so you're gonna recreate one of Mikey's SFX looks, and it's actually her Twitter profile right now. So it's right there. <laughs> and we are going to create that look of heart emoji eyes kind of thing. So let's just get on with the video. Whew. Okay, so obviously we can't have makeup on. That's that's not that's not how life works. So let's take it off. I swear, like, Mikey's possessed my body right now. I'm just, like, thinking about her, and it's, like, all coming to me. It's, like... I have so much energy. I don't know where this energy is coming from. And then Mikey's dog will usually bark, but mine, mine won't. Oh, I love Ripley, though. Ripley's actually one of the cutest things in the world. I want me a Ripley. Mikey, where do I get a Ripley? Tell me. I have no clue how she done. She did that video. I should have probably watched it before I watched this. But I think I have an idea on how to do it. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna put on Vaseline because that, I've done too much prosthetics where I ripped it off my face and it hurts. Like it hurts a lot. Mikey would just usually shave off her eyebrows for this, but, um, been there, done that, and my face doesn't look good without eyebrows. <laughs> I just look like I have a triple head. Don't forget those baby hairs on the side of your head, because if it gets on that part, it hurts. Okay, so I'm just going in with a coral color, and I am going to outline where I'm kind of going to want. That doesn't look even, does it? Close enough. And then we are going in with liquid latex. Oh, I should have my toilet paper ready. The one thing you need, all aspiring SFX makeup artists need. I don't even know how I found Mikey. I was just probably looking I want to say looking at like YouTube and then I just stumbled across her and realized she's like more than just like an SFX makeup artist. She's like so funny and like I just like love her. And just like Mikey, I cannot talk and work at the same exact time. So maybe you'll get voice over Tori. And it's me, voice over Tori, coming back at you with another video. Uh, so basically what I'm doing is I'm tr putting latex over where the trace I did was and then I'm going in with a single layer of toilet paper and I'm just going to be putting it in trying to go small and then kind of following the curve of the heart shape. And I am going to put a couple layers on and then liquid latex and layer, liquid latex, layer, liquid latex. And that's how that's going to go. 
Okay, now that I got the eyes on, I'm going for the smiles and again, liquid latex, tissue, liquid latex, tissue. And I'm going in with bigger pieces with this piece just because I am going to be cutting it open and because I want it to have that effect that it's been cut open. So the bigger pieces help so I can cut into it without it completely following apart kind of thing. And yeah, basically now I'm just trying to loosen the latex and tissue to make it look like it's popping out and that I've actually kind of dug a heart into my eye kind of stuff. So I'm just tugging and making it look like that. And now I'm going in with foundation that is obviously way too dark for me, but I'm still going to use it because <laughs> when else am I going to use it? And then I'll blend it in into the white tissue and we'll have a look that looks kind of like my skin color, maybe sort of. And that uh, foundation did drip into my eye. That was fun and fresh. And with the power of editing, uh, everything's all blended. Woo! And now I'm going in with a dark shade and, uh, well, actually a black, and just filling in because I already cut the places I was supposed to cut and just filling it in. And with the eyes, I kind of wanted to go for like a uh, more of a dark red kind of thing. So I was mixing like a black and a red to make it look kind of purplish, kind of dark and gore and stuff. And you can see I'm still trying to pull the tissue apart while I'm kind of coloring in all the areas. Okay, now going in with the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, I'm going in with that red and I actually did mix the black with it and I'm just going around to give it a bruised kind of effect so it looks more realistic and that it looks more realistic. Okay, also please don't do this at home, but I'm putting fake blood at where all the cuts are and I put it in my eye and it really hurt. Like, you see the one eye is closed? Yeah, there was pretty much bl fake blood going into that eye and it was not fun and pretty and it hurt really bad. And then I read on the bottle to not put the fake blood anywhere near your eyes and yeah, I put it on my eye. Good job. Good thinking, Tori. Good job. You're smart. And then we are just adding a red lip. I kind of actually wish I went a little darker on the lip. So, yeah. Basically, just go darker if you do this look. And yeah, but it still turned out pretty well. I wasn't too mad about it. I can't open this eye because it's really uh, dying right now. That's fun and fresh. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe because I post three times a week in the month of October. Make sure you guys like the video and share with Mikey. Let's see if we can get her to see this video even though this video was a little weird. But let's see if we can get her to see her. It. And comment down below what your favorite look I've created so far this Halloween was. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.